Let's look at how to find the point of intersection of two lines. So let's say the two lines are given by L1, which is x minus x1 by a1, y minus y1 by b1, z minus z1 by c1, and L2 is given by x minus x2 by a2. Okay. Now, so these two lines, okay, let's say this is L1 and L2, okay. Now, any point on L1, you can find by, so let's say this is the point we want to find, okay. We know that any point on L1, if you put lambda, and this is, let's say, mu, this is the standard convention used, we can write any point on L1 is given by a1 lambda plus x1, b1 lambda plus y1, and c1 lambda plus z1. Any point on L2 is given by a2 mu plus x2, b2 mu plus y2, and c2 mu plus z2. Okay? Now, for the lines to intersect, the point must be common to both lines. That means, you must have a1 lambda plus x1 equals a2 lambda plus x2, which you can write as a1 lambda, sorry, a2 mu plus x2 minus a2 mu plus x1 minus x2 is 0. Similarly, you will have b1 lambda plus y1 is b2 mu plus y2. So b1 lambda minus b2 mu plus y1 minus y2 is 0. And c1 lambda plus z1 is c2 mu plus z2. c1 lambda minus c2 mu plus z1 minus z2 is 0. Now you see, what are the unknowns here? Lambda and mu we don't know. Remember, both of the equations are given, L1 and L2, okay? So you know x1, y1, z1, a1, b1, c1, x2, y2, z2, a2, b2, c2. All these are constants. So here, the only unknowns are lambda and mu. But you have three equations in two unknowns, okay? Usually we have two equations and two unknowns and we can solve. When you have three equations and two unknowns, you have extra information. You can actually solve for lambda and mu just with these two. Okay? But then, do you know whether that will satisfy the third equation? Well, that's where we come to the different configurations that we looked at when you have two lines in 3D uh, space. Right? So, the first thing is, if the lines are parallel, that means a1, b1, c1 is proportional to a2, b2, c2, you can see that then you will find that there will be no intersection point at all. Okay? So if a1 by a2, if lines are parallel, if L1 parallel to L2, a1 by a2 equals b1 by b2 equals c1 by c2, no intersection point. Okay? But if the lines are parallel, we needn't have done all this. You will just look at L1 and L2 and say, okay, the direction ratios are proportional, therefore the lines are parallel, no point trying to find point of intersection, etc. So we'll just give it up and say that the lines are parallel, that's all, right? That means the two lines are like this. Okay? Now, Suppose the lines are not parallel, only then we will do all this stuff. Okay, so now we have three equations and two variables, and we know that the lines are not parallel. But you may still not have a point, because if you solve for lambda and mu using the first two equations and substitute in the third, and let's say it doesn't satisfy. That means what? There is no value of lambda and mu satisfying all the three equations. But if you want a common point of intersection, it has to satisfy all the three equations. So what does it mean? This is what we already learned. This means that the two lines are skew lines. Okay? There is no point of intersection. If lines are skew, 
if lines are skew lines, no point of intersection. They are not parallel, but no point of intersection. In fact, if you randomly give some numbers a1, a2, x1, x2, etc., you will actually find that the lines will be skew. So in 3D space, any two random lines are more likely to be skew than anything else. Okay, intersection requires a carefully chosen set of values. If somebody tells you that the lines do intersect, then what they are essentially telling you is solving for lambda from these two will actually, lambda and mu from these two equations will satisfy the third equation beautifully. The C1, C2 and Z1 minus Z2 will be such that it will satisfy the third equation. In fact, if Z2 is unknown, you can find what Z2 should be in order for the lines to intersect. Okay, something or any other thing is unknown because you can solve for lambda and mu, substitute and then say, well, if it has to satisfy, Z2 has to be this particular value. Okay, so please understand this is actually not the usual scenario you are, we have looked at earlier. This is three equations in two variables. It may seem, ah, we can, do, we can take any two equations. Yes, you can take these two or these two, but you have to make sure that the lambda and mu satisfy the third in order for the point of intersection to exist. If it doesn't satisfy, then whatever point you found using these two equations alone is not a point of intersection at all, right? It actually means that the lines have no point of intersection, okay? This is of course assuming they are not parallel, which we have checked up front already, right? So this is the method to look at what happens when two lines are given, if they are parallel, if they intersect, if they are skew, etc. We can find just by trying to solve or looking at the direction ratios.